Welcome to Indie Resources, how to, what is a cron basically, it's just a simple video, I've had a lot of people ask me what are crons, how do they work, uh, how do I use them in my game, so I'm going to explain them real quick because it is really simple. Uh, basically a cron is just a, a script that the server runs, it's a standard, it can be PHP script, whatever, it's just a standard script that the server runs behind the scenes and doesn't require anybody to sign on or anything. You can use it like I use it for to heal hit points every hour or bank interest or whatever you want to add and you can set them to run like every hour, 30 minutes, day, whatever. And I'm going to give you an example. If you notice here my health 34, stamina 36. I want this to heal every hour. So what I do is I create a new script. Call it rest.php. I put a clue connect.php. You don't need a session start there. That was my mistake. I can delete that actually. But uh, let me save that. Include connect.php. You do your I, so you need to have the connect in there so it knows what database to connect to, just like a normal script. Um, your I'm going to do a query, which is select ID hit points max HP stamina max stamina from players. You don't want to do select all here unless you plan on using them all because if you have a thousand players. That's a thousand different things it has to go through. So each field it's also going to have to go through. So the less fields you put up there, the better. A little quicker on the queries. Um, so basically, I'm just selecting some stats from every player. And while there are players, so in other words, it goes through each and every player, uh, I want to take their health and I'm going to times it by 0.15 and then make sure it's an integer so it doesn't have a, a point there. And then health equals the the point one five of their health. So in other words, every for however often I set this cron, it's going to heal point one five percent of their health. Uh, and then also put in here if health is greater than the max HP, you can't go over your max, and so it sets at that. Do the same thing with stamina, and then I do an update player set HP equals health, stamina equals stamina, where ID equals whatever ID it pulled. That's it. So every hour it'll run that every thirty minutes, whatever. Now. If I take you into my live server, I use GoDaddy. Uh, I like GoDaddy. They're, they've been real good so far. They have a lot of uptime. Uh, the only bad thing about GoDaddy is that they're a little complicated. And if, if people start using GoDaddy and I have requests of, hey, can you teach us how to use GoDaddy, I'll be more than happy to make a video on it. Uh, but for now, I'm going to show you the crons. Most hosting sites have their own cron manager. And if you notice here, I have cron manager. If you don't, then you probably have to find one with a host, but my GoDaddy does have crons. If you notice, I have a lot of crons in here, but the only one enabled right now is my REST. And basically, let's edit that so I can show you how that works. Edit. Um, the, you just put a, jo a job title, which is REST, and this is going to be the same on a lot of them. And then here, wget, it's, this is just one of the, the, the way the cron in GoDaddy works as far as the, the command. W to get, and then I just, instead of actually looking for it internally, W get pretty much tells it to get the URL, and I just put the URL. This isn't the safest way to do something because now anyone could go to rest.php and heal themselves, keep running it. I don't have mindset like this. I'm doing this to show you guys the easiness of it. You, what you can do is, and I took all this out, is you can actually add a uh, password, or you can do a. This is the best way to do it. They can't read it, so you can put you a um, a get statement in here with your. Let me see, and then make it ID equals whatever a number, and then if ID equals number, then run the script. But that that's hearsay. You can figure out all that stuff later, and and it's real simple anyway. But this is how you run it. The command it just pulls it. I have it set to where hourly, and then on the fifth minute of every hour, or not the fifth minute, but in, in other words, at 105 it'll run, 205 it'll run, 305 it'll run. And to give an example of what it runs, all it's doing is running. Table. Well, let's copy it right out of here just to show you. HTTP REST. That's exactly what it's running. You're not going to see anything. It's just going to go to a blank white page because that's REST doesn't print out, echo out anything. But to show you that it ran, you'll notice my hit points are now 41 and my stamina is 43. And if you want to run it again, just to show you, let's go back. 48 and 48. So it is running, and and I just all I did was I simulated that hour. I just ran the script, but that's all a cron, a cron manager is. It runs the script for you. Uh, in the background, and to get, in case you guys are kind of flustered on or, and confused on what I was talking about before, if I, let's say I didn't want anybody else to be able to run it, then I would do 
ID equals two three three two three let's say and then I would save that I'm not gonna save that because I don't want it <coughs> then in your actual script up here I could put if well my bad yeah, if actually we'd have to do a get statement uh, ID equals by the way I'm not using uh, I'm using Adobe Dreamweaver. It's kind of my favorite, and I'm going to go back to it now that everyone kind of un understands the other program, uh, because this is just simpler for me. All this is going to do is this is going to get that ID that we just put in there, and then you do your if statement if ID equals whatever we put. That was at two three three two. Well, let's just say. Uh, and this is kind of a pseudocode in a way. I'm, this isn't exactly correct, but uh, then you want it to run that. Let's see, close it off, or do an else exit. That way, you don't have to worry about anybody just running the rest script. They would have to know that the ID is that number, and if they can't read the ID script, which they're not going to be able to, they're never going to know that number. So it's a good chance nobody's ever going to be able to figure it out. And that's, to me, that's the best way to really handle it. Uh, well, that's the end of this video. I told you it was real simple. If anybody has any questions, go to indieresource.com uh, and just put in your comments, and, and we'll solve whatever questions. Thanks.